boy, not getting one of those tasty subsack deals really brings out the ugly in the Wakandans. I give you Patrick Zercher, the wannabe edgelord comic book artist who still listens to I Hate Everything About You when he's hangry. He and a bunch of the usual Twitterati are freaking out because despite all their efforts, they just can't let Comicsgate go. They need that boogeyman to explain how they're uber successful even though no one buys their books. And Zerch was in particular for him this weekend, claiming that he was thinking about infiltrating so-called Comicsgate to trick them into buying his book, and then he would send them a woke propaganda pamphlet instead. Usually when you have a dastardly plan, you don't preemptively announce it, dipshit, but that requires thinking, and we know this crowd ain't good at rubbing two neurons together, which is why they can't make stories anyone wants to read. We also get this room temperature take from Fabian Nicheza, quote, I guess I was checking an identity box with new warriors instead of trying to come up with an interesting, diverse cast of characters, which would lead to better storytelling. Ah, but there's a problem, Fabes. You actually wanted to tell a story. You didn't just drop a character into the book and go, this one's got the gay, or this one's got the punani, or this one's got the black. You actually gave them backgrounds, goals, flaws, personalities, conflicts. Their appearances, sexual orientations, and politics were secondary to their characterization, which is what made them interesting. You didn't just go, look, here's a fat one, or look, I named them Snowflake and Safe Space to reclaim the names. No, you had one guy trying to reclaim his name and powers, one guy doing a Batman shtick, one girl trying to live her life without being killed for being a mutant, one girl trying to get out from under her cousin's shadow, and one guy trying to overcome the trauma of his childhood abuse. You told a story, and that story worked not because the characters looked like a Benetton ad, but because they came across as real people. Even if your intention was to only have diversity for diversity's sake, which I doubt it was, the way you presented it was as a story about a bunch of interesting people with different problems coming together to fight crime. Their race, sex, and sexuality didn't matter. That's what made New Warriors somewhat successful, and that's what's missing for many mainstream comics, which leads to dumbass tweets like this from Zercher, quote, Comics Gate has to believe everything changed. Everything is bad now. It's their sales driver. Nope. The people making comics just have to sell their books as something people would want to read. And here's the thing, Mr. Wannabe Edgelord. Y'all could have beaten so-called Comics Gate any time by just making books that sold well. You're trying to own the so-called Comics Gate group by claiming they need to spin a false narrative. But all you have to do to prove them wrong is do well. That's it. Make the books that top the charts and all your naysayers will be silenced. But you didn't do that. Every chance y'all have got to have a hit, you managed to ruin. You could have saved face with Hydra Cap, but instead decided to double down, turning the real Cap into a Nazi and having this Cosmic Cube variant running around bemoaning America because of what supremacy. You had a hit with Batman marrying Catwoman, but you let a lot of vaginas smear his wet-ass pussy all over the event, screwing thousands of bookstores who bought into the whole wedding scam. You had Jonathan Hickman make the not X-Men interesting again, and then let Teeny Howard, Leah Williams, and Vita Ayala Care Bear stare his plans into oblivion to the point the man left the franchise. Even when something organically becomes a hit, y'all screw that up, like Batman the White Knight dominating sales, so you clowns decide to cancel Sean Gordon Murphy because how dare he actually be successful. At every turn, you've managed to ruin whatever success you could have had, and now you're at the point where you're claiming kids' books and foreign comics somehow prove people want to buy the shit you make. A bunch of YouTubers are now your competitors, and they're pulling in fifty dollars to $100,000 campaigns, while big names like Murphy and Scott Snyder are barely doing any better. You're like a signed musician who records at Abbey Road but can't break the top 100 bitching about the kid in his bedroom with the number one song on Billboard, Spotify, Amazon, and Apple Music. When people point out that for all your bragging about how great you're doing, you can't seem to make anything anyone wants to actually listen to, you attack the very people who would buy your music. If you want to prove so-called comics gate wrong, Make a book that actually sells. Better yet, make one they actually like. Make one that has them weeping like Kevin Smith over how awesome it is, and you will have won. But this little sniping on Twitter just proves their point. You don't care about storytelling, you just care about checking an identity box. And now you didn't check your ass into a corner, and all I can say is... No! <laughs> but, what do I know? I'm just some guy.